you, Mr. Mushnick. Finally decided to show up for work. Good morning, Mr. Mushnick. What morning? It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Sorry. Seymour! What? Audrey. Audrey? But she's been China. China? Audrey, that greasy boyfriend of yours. Could be no party again, hasn't he? Telling you, it's not a clean kind of boy. I got these lunch brought for you, Mr. Seymour, look what you've done to the inventory. Don't yell at Seymour, Mr. Mushnick. Hi, Audrey. You look great today. Mm. Is that new eye makeup? I'll clean it up before any of the customers get here. That should give you plenty of time. God, what an existence I got. Misfit employees bumped on the sidewalk by life to living hell. You urchins, get off the stoop. Ain't it bad I got rhinos permanently decorating the storefront? I don't need pretty ragged of us to complete the picture. Well, we ain't bothered for mighty Polly Christmas. No, we're not, Ronette. Shouldn't you be in school? We're all split. Right, we'll just go into the fifth grade and then we split. And how do you pretend to bet yourselves? That's how ourselves. Let's do it when people want to get rough. There ain't no such thing.
so, so much just for her. I guess that's it. Go pop the company to work tomorrow. You don't mean. You can't mean. What? What don't I mean? I mean, you didn't sell anything. Your business is done. Put, I'm done. You can't. Go put, extinct. I'm done. Mr. Bushwick, forgive me for saying so, but has it occurred to you that maybe what we need is a, to move in a new direction? I'm afraid you're not feeling very well today. There. Now, isn't that bizarre? At least. What do you call that weird plan? I couldn't identify it in any of my books, so I gave it my own name. I call it Nanjir too. After me? I hope you don't mind. You see, Mr. Mushnick, if you put a strange interesting plan like this, just prominently displayed here in the window, then maybe... Maybe what? Do you not understand how... how... Strange that sounds? I mean, just as you put a new really interesting plant in the window, people don't suddenly just. Excuse me! I can help notice there's an interesting plant. What is it? It's an Audrey too. Never seen anything like it before. No one has. What is it? Well, you remember that totally because it started about a week ago? Sunshine, you dirt, you give me nothing. 
head. It's a big, she's on a big, enormous family. They're dropping off like fries. We lose the business over this girl going to finish. You know, sometimes I think Mr. Mushnick is just too hard on you. Oh, I don't mind. Just now that it's getting wrong for boys, my just a little tight. Give me a new place to sleep on the counter. Right there, actually. Nice things to eat, like meatloaf and water. Floors sweet and toys clean. I feel the Sunday off. You know, I think you ought to raise your expectations for yourself. Now that we're getting successful, I mean. I mean, why don't you start with buying some new clothes? Oh, I'm No start offense, with... but a big, experimental, important botanist has to look the part. I'm a terrible shopper, Audrey. I don't have good taste like you. Well, I could help you pick things out. You could? Sure. You'd be seen with me in a public place like the department store? Sure. Tonight? Oh, not tonight. I've got a date. But I'd love to go with you another time. Sure, I'll pencil you in. But you got a lot of dates, huh? Not dates, exactly. But a lot of the gardening clubs are asking me to come and give some lectures. Imagine me giving lectures. Never finished grade school. Oh, gee, that doesn't matter. You've got life experience. Some life experience? I don't know what it's like to fly in an airplane. Me neither. Or at Howard Johnson's. Me neither. Or ride a motorcycle. Oh, that's no big deal. Besides, it's dangerous. It is? Extremely dangerous. <laughs> well, gee, I better go fix my face. My date will be here any minute. Excuse me, ladies. Can one of you fine, sweet things tell me which way to 1313 Skid Row? I'm afraid that information's gonna have to cost you a dollar. Hey, no problem. Hey, Cordis, <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh, if you're looking to go see the Octave, um, you're gonna have to come back tomorrow because it's closed. I'm not here about posies, girls. I'm here to pick up my date. Your date? We can't have another girl with a metal problem. Yeah. And a black eye. As a matter of fact. Oh, uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I don't want to get my right hand because I know it. Let's talk about Audrey. Oh. <laughs> Ladies, please, please, I'm friendly. <laughs> you want some nitrous oxide? Get lost by Talus. The last thing Audrey needs is more of your kind. My kind is a very nice kind, ladies. I'm not a monster. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. What else would you call it? I would call it an occupational hazard. Say what? You see, ladies, my line of work requires a certain fascination with human pain and suffering. Allow me to explain.
Shop. I'm here. Whoa, this must be that planet they're talking about in the news. What do you call it? In honor to, I raised myself. Good name. Catch it. Nice plan. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Seymour. This is my boyfriend. Seymour? Orange Scrivilla. DDS. That's better. Say, did you say you raised this thing? Yes. You see, if I was you, I wouldn't keep her under a barrel down a skid row dump like this. This is a little avocado. It'd be your chicken to the stars. I don't care. I'm not interested. Seymour's very loyal. Somebody yeah. talking to you? No. Excuse me. Excuse me what? Excuse me, doctor, doctor. Excuse me, doctor. Ben. Seymour. <laughs> Mushing skid row floors. It's like a joke. You hear me talking? I hear you. You hear me? I hear you. You hear me? Yes. Well, all right then. Well, should we be leaving now? I'm sorry. Well, I better go. My bike's outside and double park. <laughs> Audrey, you got the handcuffs? Right, my bad. Then let's go. Think about it. Think about it. I don't like that guy.
Did you not love it as you met me? Come on, kid, what will it be? My girls. Well, I'm not a girl. How about that all? Come on, think it over. There must be some of your kids. It's we you cry. You did me some lunch. That's why you look at the bricks wrapped in velvet covering. Forgets her sweater. Come on, move it. I'm sorry. Uh, you dizzy cow. Sorry. I swear if your head weren't screwed no, on. No, no, no. Uh, move it. Move it. Move it. This 
is going to be a challenge. This is going to be a pleasure. Oh, what's it? Gas. Gas? Yes. The garden you're going to use, Eddie? Not for you, Seymour, for me. You see, I think I'm really going to enjoy this. I find that just a little bit of giggle gas increases my pleasure immensely. <laughs> Special gas mask for this one, I'll be right there.
in case anybody lost a set of keys, uh, it was found in the a girl's bathroom. A set of keys was found in this girl's bathroom.
think that mic was better on you. Hey, Josh. Could you grab this chair some more napkins? I thought I heard you laughing. I just opened it. <laughs>
Laundry. So, it seems the plaque's thickening between my employees. Huh? Please, Mr. Daddy. Don't you miss the daddy me. <laughs> Audrey, I might give us some, give me a seat while here. Of course. I'll call you tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning. I'll call you if it's okay. Um, sure, that's fine. But, what is he talking about? What is he doing? Why don't you run along like he asked Audrey? I'll catch up with you. I'll call you for today. Alright. Can I say one? Can I ask the motion? Huh. You've got a pretty strange jacket. They're called out to the police station after the lawyer's office. The police? Yes. Seems they did an investig a routine investigation for the disappearance of that dentist guy. What's happening with this? I don't know. It's by accident. Seems they found a Bushnik Skid Row, a Bushnik Skid Row forest bag in his office. That's something that has to do with it. What? Why'd you bring it up? That's what they told me. They also found this picture of your baseball cap. And so, you know, I asked them, what's going on? And what happened? They don't, they don't suspect you at all, see? They don't know. I walk in on you, they sink the dentist, go for it. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do anything to do with it. I have done nothing about it.
the corner deli gets you a pound of nice, rare beef. Maybe that should hold you off until Life Magazine. Oh, no way. It's my last offer, yes or no? Better than nothing. Fine, good, great. Don't try getting dessert.
wait for me. Crawl board? See you crawl board? Leave me alone. Patricia Martin, Lancy City Marketing Division, Wolf Botanical Enterprises. I've got a glit edge proposition for you, boy. I'm not interested. Let me explain more in detail. It's a very simple license to you. All we're going to do is take some small these. Felt little on your toes and self deforce all across the nation. Pretty soon, every house in America will have one. I've got a truck waiting outside some pots. If you don't mind, we'll start taking leaf cuttings right now. Imagine why Audrey Toots everywhere. Why? With the right advertising, this could be bigger than Hula Hoop. Bigger than Hula Hoops. Much bigger. Every house in America, you had that money all along. That's your plan, isn't it? No hit, Sherlock. We're like my one hundred percent here. We're like my world conquest. And then I want to thank you. Sherlock, you're so mine. Feed me. You ain't the only thing I ever loved. Too bad. Be way outside. Open the van, boys. Ready, start low. 